Hey everyone, I'm Miss V from Communities in Schools of Chicago. I'm here to bring you your STEM challenge today, which is going to be, do the shapes of fins on rockets affect how far they fly? So before we get started, go ahead and make your guess to do if the shape will affect how far a rocket would fly. So what we're going to use today is very simple materials. You need a straw, a pencil, some scissors and tape, and then you need that um, six inches by two inches piece, plus a little bit of extra uh, paper as well. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to build straw rockets, and then you are going to make different shapes for fins and test it out. So to build your straw rocket, you're going to take your paper and pencil first. You're going to wrap the paper around your pencil, making it mostly tight, as tight as you can. So once you have that, you're then going to put some tape so that it stays together. So I've got my tape over here. All right. Now, once you have that taped down, you can take it off of your pencil. What we're going to do is we're going to actually Okay, see how mine's like a little bit separated at the top? You want to tape that together as well so that it's not separated. Let me do that here. And it's okay if you overlap the tape. Now, I'm going to take this top piece and I'm going to bend it down like that and I'm going to tape that piece down as well. That's going to end up being the nose cone of our rocket. Okay. Whereas this is the base of the rocket, so here's your nose cone. Okay. Now, you're going to do a initial test here. How you initially test it is you take your straw and the end that you did not tape down of your rocket, stick your straw in there, okay? And then you're going to blow through your straw to shoot your rocket. Once you do that, you want to measure how far from your feet your rocket landed. Do you have that number? Make sure you write it down in the data table. Okay. Now we're going to add fins to our rocket. You want to choose at least two different shapes for your fins. So the first shape I chose was a triangle. So we're going to take our tape again, and I'm going to tape these triangles towards the open end of my rocket. And then once I have this built, I'm going to test it again. Okay. So you can see I have my two fins on there. So then I will put my straw in again, test it out, and measure how far that shape goes. Once you have that number, write it in the data table. You're then going to take those fins off, okay, and put on a new shape of fin, such as a half circle, on, and test it again. Measure and write it down in your data table. Once you've done that as many times as you want, you want to look at your data table to see what your results are. Which shape gave you the 
farthest distance from your rocket? 